guys good morning today we're gonna talk about how to change the oil in your car sometimes i like to do it by myself it's just fun for me i like uh car maintenance stuff so you know changing the spark plugs oils filters you know basic things um so yeah today i'm gonna talk about oil change and yeah let's get into this because it's kind of simple but it's also kind of complicated i'm using gopro and i'm using a pixel front camera i'm just interested how it's gonna look like in this kind of scenario in these conditions i made a list so i'm gonna use this list so i'm not gonna forget about anything but yeah let's get into this so my car is actually alfa romeo so everything is aluminium down there it's a lot of like in this more expensive cars uh, it's it's made by aluminium so it's this is actually problematic because when you are screwing in and screwing out some screws uh you have to do it you know wisely and yeah what do you need uh, you need the branches you need a screwdriver or driller i am using driller because well it's just much faster i have 22 i think screws uh just for my cover under the car so it's like really if i would do this by hand i would just literally get madness it's, and this will not take like 20 minutes like everything to change the oil would take like a one hour and i would just literally taking this um you know cover from the bottom off i would be totally exhausted so you know it's better to just equip yourself with the stuff oil drain um oil drain pan buy something that is not i will show you because i bought two i ordered one from uh, amazon and one i bought uh here somewhere locally don't buy this garbage this is literary i thought it's this gonna be much deeper it's literally unusable when oil just starts spill on it it's gonna be all over the place so buy something like this hold out for oil but this one is this what you need look how deep this one is and look at this one horrible don't buy it i will give you all links below so it's gonna be much easier for you um but yeah buy something that is not flat because if you start this oil will start you know uh spilling it will just splash it and you know you don't want to have you know this this oil on your uh head on your face and everywhere around you so buy something that is much much deeper yeah this is important a leaf jack well uh, you need something that is longer don't buy the short ones they are pointless buy something that is longer one you need to have this longer one because if you have suv or truck it's just impossible to leave this car up even for like a regular uh sedans and like you know uh hatchback cars it's, it's preferable to have like a this uh, longer leaf jack so just equip yourself with this oil filter wrench this is very important buy oil filter wrench because even if this should be just a little bit tighter very often people just you know tight it so strong that you're gonna have some problems yeah equip yourself with the uh, wrench uh, oil wrench because it is really really essential leave the car up find the this location of where you should you know put this lifter uh, just don't do it somewhere you know uh, most cars have some kind of spots for that so just use those spots because you can crush the the frame of the car do it in the proper way when you leave the car up you place some support under the wells i have like a two support i made it by myself i just bought a wood cut it you know and i make like a two squared things uh literally very easy to do so make sure that if you leave the car you rest this uh, car on some kind of supports because you don't want to die uh, under the car you know changing the oil <laughs> it shouldn't be your fist and the last oil change so you know be be equipped and be be secure so after you unscrew everything under the car uh, the, the screw from the oil pan from the car clean everything around it you don't want to have any form of dirt a uh, very important thing is here to you know don't uh, allow any form of mud dust and anything get into this because it's gonna literally damage your car everything unscrew this uh, screw from the uh, oil pan just you know be advised that this will start you know spilling down you uh for this kind of like a i don't know 20 centimeters so i don't know how many inches this is like 10 inches distance so uh, when you screw this uh, keep the screw tight because it's not gonna like 
start draining for how long you have it in your hand then you pull the screw out and this is like ooh, you're doing like a big spill uh, then go above and unscrew the top cap from the engine don't do it before because if you don't do this before the spill will be much bigger so first unscrew this from the bottom so this can like or you can drop to the vessel then just unscrew it a little bit and leave it at the top so you know it's gonna prevent from getting dust and any form of like whatever in so keep the engine clean next one we are taking this oil filter out uh, so use this oil wrench as i said it's very problematic sometimes to take this oil filter out trust me i did approach so many times to this and literally it's, it's the best option to have this uh, oil wrench so you know use oil wrench you're just gonna nicely uh, you know tight it you're gonna have like a rounded metal maybe you're gonna have with rubber that's gonna be maybe the better option but mostly are metal like a circus you just you know uh, nice to grab it and unscrew it so use the oil wrench wait until everything is out so let's this oil oil drop take a new filter uh, before actually even uh, doing everything this is also important sometimes they're gonna give you or you're gonna they're gonna send you a wrong oil filter that's important before you unscrew the oil screw and you start you know uh, spilling the oil out check the size of the oil uh, filter it's good to you know uh, see the di dimensions because sometimes you're gonna have wrong uh, oil filter yeah it's it's happening quite often so be sure that it's exactly the same as i said you can order on the website or buy somewhere and it's gonna be literally the same uh well they're gonna like match it's the same but you're gonna you know try to fit it to your car and you realize that hey this is not the same one and you have an oil out and no car <laughs> so be sure before you do this but yeah if you have the new filter um it's good to put a little bit of new oil on the new oil on this rubber that is on the top of the filter screw this in i'm using hands and mostly i'm just tightening this very very strongly by my hand this is everything what you need just you know use hands very very strongly you have to tighten it but i don't don't use this wrench wrench is only for unscrewing things because if you're going to use this metal wrench you're going to scratch it and the cover that is on the filter is actually for protection if you if you like scratch it off this 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 paint or whatever black thing will cause sometimes it's like a rugged thing on it uh you, the oil filter will start rusting so this is not a good option you don't want to have that so use the hands you tie it in nicely uh, this is really like a m small step so small increment so you're gonna feel the resistance you're gonna feel the resistance you're getting in you're still feeling this resistance and you're going going when until it stops and then you you know try to just you know tighten it up and that's basically it with the screw you put the screw in from the oil pan uh, also if you have aluminium i have aluminium pan so you know i have to be cautious but overall, overall it doesn't necessarily need to have tons of the uh, power uh, you don't have to use tons of that power to just screw this in but cl clean this um, clean this screw before you put it in clean this nicely so it should be nice and clean if you have a somewhere rust around it i recommend you even to buy a new screw so yeah I remember I have a, like a racing car a long time ago and I have like a rusted screw around it so yeah I have to replace it so yeah and so screw this in also do not tighten it too strongly get to the very end and then it's just a little little notch of like a tight tight it a little bit but yeah that's basically it uh, you put the screw you put the oil filter now you can put the cover back or wait but well i put the cover by i will tell you why you should maybe wait but i hope it's not gonna happen i put the cover right away put the car down i have a um, electronic uh, measurements here so i cannot i don't have this drip so so to check the oil alpha has to do it by itself so yeah i'm putting in the oil how much oil and this is a very interesting thing and this is a trick some long time ago was called for dummies but now specialist and me myself i'm calling this very usable thing so it's good to have like a vessel with measurement you know this oil back you know how much oil you had so you, you not overdo it 
and so yeah but for example i have a 5.5 five quartz i think so i put like 5.2 i didn't check i didn't have any measurements i put 5.2 i check the engine and i see that i have like a, a little bit above the uh, half of the measurement you always want to have to full you know like this minimum and maximum you want to have it full always so this is the best best option you can have a little bit down but when you fill this up mostly try to put this a little bit you know uh to to fill this to the very very top so i was waiting i checked checked everything you know much car check was checking everything it showed me that i have like a more than uh, half of these measurements i have it like uh, horizontally not vertically when you have a dip you you you, you measure this uh, vertically but when you have like a in the car you have this like horizontal uh, measurement so it's like minimum and top so i have this somewhere over here you know so i have to fill this this space over here so i'm just use a little bit put a little bit i measure it again put a little bit and measure it again and it was completely like how i wanted so it was full you don't want to overdo this this is a super important thing and i say in usa uh this is a regular issue oh my god i saw so many times how my uncle had my two friends had it and i hear about this the people just don't know how even ch sometimes change the oil you cannot have over this maximum level oil in your car this is gonna create i think they call it in unclog the engine this is gonna have too much of pressure the engine is gonna start overheating and you can lose the you can blow your uh, head gasket so it's not recommended going above really so if you overdo it by a lot then you have to spill this out and trust me uh it's very complicated because if you start unscrewing the this oil will literally you know get out very very quickly and you cannot like stop it put the screw back because it's gonna spill everywhere so be cautious and <laughs> really be cautious you're gonna have this older face on the floor everything everything will cover by oil so don't do this you know if you have to spill this out just keep this a uh, screw you know and if you start dripping just try to hold it hold it hold it and control it because it's gonna be everywhere trust me i was changing oil in my racing car so many times that whoo, i learned a lot <laughs> from don't do my mistakes so put it in if you know that is for example five five quarts put like a five five point two then check it then again then check it and you know twice i for example is for the best option for me because i don't want to overdo this uh and yeah and that's that's basically it's very simple so maybe it's a well i like changing my stuff in my car like as i said sparkles basic things but it's sometimes it's complicated in a way that you really have to approach to this because it's easy but you really have to have some knowledge about this so the same with the spark plugs the other things so it is just important to have some form of knowledge before you start doing this so i will give you all links down below support me guys but really this is essential what i'm gonna give you over there and it's actually very cheap what kind of oils yeah what kind of oil didn't tell you well from the general perspective i was checking a lot of oils and i think valvoline have the most for the best price have a most stable oils and like different kind of brands like shell mobile uh, whatever the else like uh, castro also they well i'm not sure 100 percent with the castro but they i i hear about like fake fake those oils that mean that they are not the same kind of oil in europe and usa and they a lot of companies like uh, they're distributing and changing some stuff so valve line like keeping the same standards everywhere in the world in europe and usa i don't know about the rest in europe and usa so valve line definitely is a good good level also a lot of good oils like pools uh liquid molly um but me i went with american actually oil this is the I think one of the best and this is MS, 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 IMS oil. A crazy thing is that this company is here from the USA, from Wisconsin, not far away. So maybe I'm going to visit them someday. See how they make the oil. Oh, so cool. And how they test it because they have a plenty of cars over there, you know. They, they test it out the, the, on the bikes and everything. Yeah, cool. I want to go there. So, yeah. Super simple, but also, you know, kind of uh, complicated in a way if you never do this, just be a bit cautious about, you know, every step to make it possible. And I'm giving you everything below, every link to every like a tool and equipment you need to change it. 
that's that's it guys i hope you like it like and subscribe things down below if you want to support me well it will be highly appreciated for my hard work and i will see you in the next video yep see ya